Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. Well, as you can see here, uh, we've got the Runcam Split Mini version 2. The one with just a single board, rather than uh, the version 1 that came with two boards. This has just got the one board and everything built into it. I'll tell you what, I'll just zoom out a little bit, I'm a bit too uh, close there, you can't see everything going on. Oh pilots, uh, George from the future so to speak here. Uh, what it is is, I have to tell you, these two buttons here, there's a little button there on the board and a little button there on the board, right? They're for setting up your, your functions, your wide dynamic range and things like that in your menu. It's all in the uh, manual. However, I advise you to set them up before you mount that board into a quad. I have ripped off both buttons, they're gone, they are ripped off both of them, but luckily I'd set everything up that I wanted to set up already, then starting to mount it into the quad, they are very, very flimsy buttons them two, they came off with the slightest touch, alright, so I advise you, maybe I was a bit heavy handed so it could be my fault. Right, but I have heard uh, Justin Davis mention that uh, the buttons, he, yeah, I think he had a problem or almost had a problem. Anyway, so I advise you to set all your settings up before you mount this board into your quadcopter. Right, just in case. You may be lucky, you may not, but better safe than sorry because I've told you, man, I ripped off. I've ripped off both buttons and uh, no way I can get them back on again so they're knackered but luckily I got all my settings done first right then uh, back to the video there you go yeah uh, it has a ribbon cable right which is better right or more, more well made than the original ribbon cable on the uh, mini split right the one with the two boards now, there's not a lot I can really tell you about this, right? We've all heard about them, we all know what they do, right? It records in HD at 60 frames per second. I'm going to try and keep this video short so we can get straight to the flight footage and then you can see and make your mind up. Uh, what you've got on the back here, just take that sticky label off, right? You've got a little GST plug. Well, of course, it comes with a mess of different wires and cables and stuff, so you can decide. These little pads here is you ground your video and your positive, right? So you can solder up straight with your wires, and if you've got a little connector already coming off your board, right? So you can plug it straight in, or you can just use bare wires. It comes with a bigger wire, so that if you mounted this on a larger quad, right? You can stretch it out because it does come with one of them little snazzy adapters so you you can mount the camera into uh, a five inch size quad if i can get that in you get the gist so uh yeah that's it basically oh you get some really nice uh like well the brass i suppose well there will be brass little uh, standoffs rather than the plastic ones right one thing i will tell you <coughs> On the back here, there's the uh, TX and RX spare pads, so you can solder up a wire and connect them onto your TX and uh, RX on your flight control board. Oh God, can't get my words out on your flight control board. And in beta flight, uh, Runcam has you can set a spare aux channel in beta flight and you can do all your sort of different things you can have it set to turn on and off because at the moment it's a press button for on and off and press button to go into your settings and everything well if you set up them extra two wires there whoops if you set on them extra two little uark right txrx if you set them up you're able to uh, flick a switch in your beta flight, one in your mode sections, once you set it up, and able to go and power on, power off, sort out your different bits and pieces and get into it. You have a nice little uh, heat, well, it it's not as, well, it is a heat sink, right? But it's mostly there to protect the uh, SD card from coming out and it also holds the ribbon cable in place 
It's already in place with some pins, but this just helps hold it down, extra protection. You have your little clip to lift up to get your SD card in and out because there's no USB port. Right, to download your images, you must take your SD card uh, out, basically. Plug them into your computer and whack it back in again. Right, uh, you get, uh, well, not instructions, but you get a little card which tells you how to download the instructions. But it, just, I'll tell you what you do. You just go onto Runcam, right, look up the Runcam Split 2, go down to the bottom and you'll see Instruction Manual PDF. Just download it. And it, it's very detailed actually and it's very straightforward so nothing complicated about it right then like I said uh, I want to keep this uh, little review short all right I nearly said small then <laughs> short so that I can whack it in a model get it out and uh, let you see some of the footage which is the main thing is the footage any good well I can already tell you the footage is pretty damn good Andy RC got one of these about a week ago and uh, we had a bit of backwards and forwards uh, I was saying I can't get hold of one and he said they're in stock so I was checking I was saying this it's reading up not in stock and he gets back to us again Andy and he goes it says they're in stock to me well anyhow the next day I got an email uh, basically saying Oi, George, they're definitely in stock now. So I clicked, bought one, and she's here. And like I said, Andy RC did a review, and uh, the video quality is pretty damn good. But make up your own minds so that uh, whack her in a model and uh, get her into the air. In three, two, one. There we go then, pilots. Uh, I've just kept it a, a steady flight, nothing too flashy. I think I do the odd little roll if I remember rightly. But uh, yeah, the uh, colour grading and the HD image is pretty damn good. And just to let you know, even though you can see the clouds, it was very dull this morning, or this afternoon even. Very dull, very miserable day actually. So. Uh, it's picking up uh, the colours pretty good. You can definitely see the difference in the colours between the the, uh, the grass and the leaves. Uh, you can see the different shades. That's the word I'm trying to get out colours. The different shades in the leaves and the bloody uh, grass and stuff. And the trees and everything. So here's one thing. Now, I don't know if it's my editing software. But... Uh, as I'm doing this voiceover, so obviously I'm watching the video, it seems a little bit jerky in parts, as if it's sort of like a quick couple of seconds blast of fast forward, then back to normal again, if you know what I mean. It just looks a little bit jerky to me. But there again, right, like I say, that could be the editing. It could even be, well, no, it won't be the quad, because like I say, it looks like the image is jerking forward and back a little bit to me. But uh, I'll just shut up for a few seconds and uh, let you watch it and see what you think. Right then, we're coming to the end of the flight here, and I made the best landing I've ever done. Uh, to be quite honest, uh, I, 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 I flipped the wrong switch, and uh, I wobbled a bit. You'll see it any second. There you go. <laughs> quick little wobble and a quick little crash. Okay then, uh, you watch the video. Uh, you've seen my review, which I'd kept it short because we all know what it is. It's a camera. But uh, the image is pretty damn good. So I'm quite happy with the uh, the image of it. But like I said uh, at the beginning, watch out for them buttons. You're still able to use the buttons, right? But you'll need something like a cocktail stick to uh, wedge in 
and uh, push the little pad down, which makes it very awkward to say the least. Okay then, pilots and ground crew, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, leave us a thumbs up. And uh, if you didn't, leave us a thumbs down. Okay then, uh, thanks for watching and cheers.